Hello everybody. This is our Whirlpool 1990s 2 maybe, I don't know, Whirlpool stackable washer that came with our new house and it's a Whirlpool machine <clears throat> and it has uh, really uh, worked up for a little while so it's a two piece agitator and what the bottom piece does it's it's perfect but the top piece has a little bit of a problem there so as you can see when you go to turn it that way it moves but when you go to turn it the other way it moves but the bottom does not move with it like it should then you know that it's a problem with the, with the auger so it's really easy it's not that hard at all so the new parts I got there are called dogs so follow these steps and you should be able to get it out properly so okay the first step that we need to do is we need to pull the cap off you just pull it up like that and it just comes right off so and as you can see there's a little dust cap in there too that you have to pull up on the tabs and remove from the agitator you know and as you can see what it's doing right now is that those teeth, are, those dogs are supposed to have teeth in there you know it's in order to, for it to grab the agitator assembly the whole agitator assembly and move with the bottom agitator as it rotates back and forth 90 degree well as you can see the teeth are very very worn off of that excuse my saying the teeth are very very worn off of that so it's not doing anything so the next start step is to do to do is remove the bolt and pull out this clutch so this uses a 7 16th socket I already have it loose so just pull just loosen it up like that and now the agitator bolt is loose and now the agitator should all pop off from the shaft. Okay, now that we've removed the agitator off of the shaft, go ahead and step on the base of the agitator and pull the auger off, just like that. Pull it, pop it loose, okay? Take your little screw out. And now the cam assembly, the agitator cam assembly, will just fall out like that and here are the uh, teeth that need to be removed the dogs that need to be pulled out in order for the new part to be installed in here okay now here's the new part that goes into the cam assembly and as you can see these fit most Whirlpool clothes washer brands even the stackable models so okay so the second step you have to do is put the <coughs> insert the uh, dogs the cogs into the little slots just like that and make sure that the groove the little curved part is facing upwards otherwise it won't work if they're upside down so see that little sort of groovy thingy on there yeah and I really lost focus but whatever so okay <coughs> next we put in the cam assembly into the agitator the top part just like that turn it right side up again and you'll see that it's in place so the agitator over here and now we just align it up line it up with the agitator 
that and snap it into place. Excuse the allergies I'm having right now and the nasty weather. As you can see, that only goes one way, so the adjective is supposed to ratchet again. So, put it back in shaft. Okay, let me just put the agitator back into a shaft. So, it's all reassembled. We have our little screw. And tighten it until it gets tight enough. Connect the ratchet now. Turn it into the tightening. And we'll demonstrate it for a little bit. Now as you can see, it only goes one way without the bottom turning so the auger should work just pop that back in there make sure it's aligned then put the cap back in place and then the agitator is fixed on the washer and it's good to go Thank you very much for watching on the repair video, and I hope it really helped you. So, um, just so you know, just uh, be be as careful as you can, and it will uh, get back in pretty good shape. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I hope it really helped too. I'll see you later.